In short, what has been happening is a, is a national problem and I argue a global problem. And what am I talking about? When you're an artist and you either release something on your own through like CD Baby or TuneCore or Bandcamp, whatever you choose, or if you're signed to a label who's charged with putting out your music for you on your behalf, it's very important that you sign up with all of the proper organizations that track the sales and the impressions that your music is making in the digital realm. So how do you do that? You make sure that you sign up with a performance rights society because you have your performance income come back. To you. And that's You can sign up through BMI, ASCAP, or CFAC in the States. There are some more private ones, but those are the three most prominent at the moment. Right. Also, you want to make sure that you sign up with Sound Exchange yep. because to track your digital performance royalties. Also, I want to add some more, another caveat. When you are, whenever you release material and you own the copyright, you should go to copyright.gov and go through the process for applying for copyright related to your sound recording, okay? And why do you need to do that? Because here's a big problem that's had to be addressed. Right now, Spotify, Apple, Amazon, the, the whole lot of them, what they do when, every, when, any, when anybody ever streams a song, they send the copyright office what's called an NOI. That's a, uh, basically a letter of intention to pay that money out. The right. Know who to pay. And why don't, don't they know that? Because, and this process is called metadata. They're not making sure that all the fields in the dashboards where this music is sent out is properly filled out. So it should say, Adam Cruz, the song, my publishing share, where am I, how to find me, my ISRC code, which is the International Standard Recording Code. That's like a tattoo or a watermark inside the digital file. It's a way to track the activity. Right. So all that to say, this problem got so big that Congress had to step in during uh, using the Mo Music Modernization Act, MMA for short. They have charged uh, a group of people for setting up what's called a mechanical licensing collective. And what the MLC is going to do is they're charged with trying to find the rights holder with the money that's owed to them. So this mm. is after Spotify, for example, sends an NOI to the Copyright Office and the Copyright Office responds and says, we don't know who that is. So right. licensing collective is now stepping in to figure out where those people exist and to then pay them. Why? Because this lost income called suspended income or black box income is mm. just billions of dollars now. And you don't want, if you're an artist, somebody else getting your money because after three to five years time, the remaining the remainder of that money usually gets disseminated to the members in the roster and that, for, for like the Beyonce's of the world, means they get the lion's share. What? Are you serious? It goes for performance, too. Same with BMI, ASCAP, CSAC. If you do not claim your income, meaning you don't go into your account every time and add a title, you have three years for some of the organizations to handle that. If you do not, any monies, even if it's two cents, goes to the, one, the top 1% earners because you've not claimed your money. Yo, that is crazy.